There's been a flurry of economic news this week, from labor data to a GDP report to a statement from the Federal Reserve. But taken together, what picture does this paint for the state of the U.S. economy? Paul Vigna from our Money Beat team joins us now. So, Paul, talk to us about the GDP. The U.S. is recovering, but it's not all good news, yes, right? Yes, I think, and I think if you wanted to, if you wanted to kind of sum up this week in one sentence. It would be that the Fed is probably moving closer to raising rates, yeah. but, comma, but, but the economy is not so strong yeah. that they're going to move fast. They're still going to be moving very slow. And when you look at what we got this week, we'll start off with yeah. GDP, right? Yeah. Uh, it really sort of illustrates why they need to move slow. So we got the first report on second quarter GDP. Mm -hmm. The numbers came out okay, a little lower than expectations, but, but what you see there is mm -hmm. what's really important. They did a revision going back several years, and what you see is that's a quarter by quarter number, and you can see some quarters were revised a little higher, but a lot more were, were revised lower. Right. And what that means is that cumulatively over the last several years, the recovery has been weaker than we thought it was. And nobody thought it was a great recovery right, to begin with. Right, right, right. That wasn't the... So, so you look now, and you know, th that chart is, it's a good illustration. Yeah. What would be even better is if there was another line above that, which shows what potential GDP would uh -huh. be, because that's been a problem. Yeah. There is, there's a certain potential that this economy has. Yeah. It has not been living up to that potential. Yeah. Now we see that it's even further away from that potential than we thought. That is not a great sign. So the headline was a little bit misleading on that, right? Like the 2.3%, you think, oh, that's well, great. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you think, well, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, right, like that's fine, right. yeah. And then you start digging into the guts of this thing, and it turns out that, yeah. you know, we're doing a little worse than we thought we were doing. Yeah, so talk to us about labor costs. Yes. Uh, is there, you know, what's that, good news, bad news? What are we yeah, seeing this there? This is what came out this morning. Yeah. It's called the Employment Compensation yeah. Index, and it is it, it is literally that. It's, it's a, an index that tracks compensation in total, so wages, benefits, yeah. all those yeah. things. Uh, came out this morning for the second quarter. The, the, the rise from the second quarter, from the first quarter to the second quarter, 0.2%. It was the slowest rise since they've been tracking this thing going back to 1982. Yeah. So, you know, 30 years of data, not a good yeah. sign. Yeah. Again, though, that's a quarterly number. You look at the year over year number, and it was up, uh, employment costs were up, uh, compensation costs were up about 2% from a year ago. Yeah. Little slower than the rate we've been seeing, but again, yeah. kind of where we've been. You have not seen tremendous, you, you've seen very yeah. little wage growth. Yeah. It's gotten a little bit better over the past year yeah. or so, but not so fast that it is showing signs of an economy that is growing at any kind of rate that the Fed is going to say, oh boy, we need to, we need to hit the, tap the brakes here. Right. All that said, the Fed wants to tap the brakes. Right, right, they right. have had interest right. rates at what are basically emergency yeah. levels for nearly seven years now. Yeah. They want to tap the brakes. They want to get off the zero bound. Yeah. Had uh, their their you know their June meet their July meeting yeah. this week came out with the statement. The statement read a little bit, uh, I, I, I'd say they were constructive on the economy. Constructive, interesting <laughs> yeah, choice yeah, of words. <laughs> uh, they, they were constructive on the economy. Yeah. They see some optimistic signs. They are, they didn't tip their hand, but most people think now that September, maybe October or December, at some point in the fall, they are going to issue that first rate increase. Mm. The key thing, though, Katie, is that even when they issue that first rate increase, it's going to be a very small number, and they're going to move very slow. They are going to do a hike, and they are going to step back and see how the economy responds to that hike. The, the, the difference from zero to 0 0.5 or zero wherever it's is not right. a very big difference. They're going to be moving extremely slowly, and I think that's the real thing to keep in mind because of everything that we've seen this week. Right. All right. Silver lining to this whole thing. Silver lining is, is I mean, things aren't awful. Yeah. You know, there's no real indication that the economy is going to topple into a recession. There are dangers. I mean, there are dangers. The economy is not growing well. Yeah. The Fed is going to raise rates. That is going to tighten tighten conditions a bit more. The, the silver lining is that things are not terrible. Yeah. The reality, though, the rest of the cloud, if you want to put it yeah. that way, is that things are not so hot either. So, you know, look, it's August. Go on vacation. Don't panic. Don't worry so much. But you do need to, to keep an eye on these things. A mixed bag. Well, thank you a so mixed much. mixed bag, yeah. All right, Katie.